Well, hey everybody, welcome. This is Tabitha Jane. Thank you for joining me this December 31st, 2020. As we are shifting our energies from this crazy, messed up year into 2021. This is a general reading for fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Messages, please. Messages. Guides, angels, higher self, spirit source. Messages, please. For fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. What would you have them to know? What is 2021? What is the potential they are bringing to them? Potential 2021 is bringing to them. Wow. Ah. All right, guys. Well. Peace, fork in the road, and come to the edge. Let's see. I can get this to there we go. Okay. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow. You are the only group so far that's had those names come out. Messages, ancestors, and angels, please. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, what do you want them to know regarding 2021, please? What is their potential for 2021, please? Messages, please. Messages, please. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, please. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, please. Stag. Trust and thrive. All right. Fire signs. 2021, I feel, is about you finding that space and that place, that inner um, cohesiveness that brings you peace. That it grounds you and it gives you that inner stability. Through the process Clarity Peace, what is this fork in the road? The fork in the road that brings you to the edge. What is this fork in the road that brings to the edge? Sleepless nights, new opportunities, partnerships, or relationships, new What am I 
hearing. This fork in the road that's going to bring you to the edge. Fork is about opportunities, directions, a division. A decision. Something. Okay, I'm hearing two things with this card. For some of you, something is keeping you awake at night. It is badgering your mind, eating. at your heart and soul, sleepless nights, restless nights, frustration, ready to snap, that's what I'm hearing. Some of you there's So, there, there's clarity coming through to you. It, it is desperate to penetrate your mind. Desperate, it, it just, I don't have a better word for that. that. That's probably not the right word, but it is just like so wanting to help you see beyond where you've been, where you think you've been. I feel like whoever you are, wherever you land on this scale, the sliding scale, there's a fork in the road, a decision you have to make. Um, messages, regardless, either wherever you are on this spectrum, Messages are trying to come through to you to help you, to benefit you, and it's ultimately up to you whether you're going to receive them or ignore them, and that's the fork in the road. If you choose to receive them, whatever those messages are, I have no idea, this is a general reading. I don't know what your personal circumstances are or nothing. So, if you choose to accept them, it's going to bring you to the edge. It's, it's going to push you to a limit, not a breaking space, but mentally awakening place. It's going to push you to the edge. Everything's going to change. Everything's going to shift. New opportunities. New... It, it's going to... You're going to see the world in a different way. And when you do so, there's new concepts, new ideas, new... Potential possibilities. I'm getting so many words all at once that are going to come through to you that you are going to have the opportunity to work with, to ground, to create a new future. That's why I was stumbling on this card. It is a partnership. It is a relationship, but it's a relationship with you and your higher self. It is a relationship with you and the universe. When you go to the edge, when you make that leap of faith, when you trust and believe, that's when you create, trust and thrive. Oh my God. 
y'all. I'm focused on the cards, okay? That's the way my mind works, one at a time. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get some clarity here. Uh, messages, please, for fire, fire signs. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Can we please get how we got here, please? Messages, please, for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. How did we get here? What did 2020... But how did 2020 bring us to this place? Messages, please. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. We had a card for the king. Sagittarius and Leo, how do we get here? We're 2020. How do we get here? Oh, you know. Microphone off. Okay, so where are we at right now? Fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, where are we at right now? as we are on the cusp, moving between 2020 and 2021 messages. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Where are we going? Same cards keep showing up, you know that? 2021 messages, please. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Thank you. I mix the cards, I do all the things. Okay, so 2020, fire signs, sun, I think 2020 started out happiness, joy, belief that it was a whole new beginning, a whole new opportunity, everything was going to be great, there were messages of emotional fulfillment and healing and for many of you that's that is what 2020 was 2020 wasn't bad all bad it wasn't all good either it wasn't all bad but right now where we stand is looking at the place of judgment evaluation craving Desiring, being rescued, resurrected, pulled out of the pits. Out of a place of despair where new messages, new inspiration, new concepts, new ideas can come forward. 2021 is going to bring you clarity and wisdom, intuitive guidance, fork in the road, come to the edge, trust and thrive, find your peace, find your peace within yourself so that you connect with your higher self, your intuition your guidance, your inner truth, so you can release and let go the things that weren't serving you, and I strongly suggest you do so without regret. I, I, I'm, I'm going to go there and say this, 
myself as well, I was born into a family where if you took care of yourself, you were selfie, selfish, and you were negligent of everybody else. I beg to differ. If you feel that way, if you feel that taking care of your finances, taking care of your home, taking care of your emotional needs, if you feel that makes you a selfish person, I'm going to go there and say, nay, nay, it's not true. Those who deny you the ability to care for yourself, they are selfish because they don't want you to do for you. They want you to do for them. What is selfishness? Furthermore, if you do things for yourself, to care for yourself, not with bad intent or neglect to anybody else, tread carefully on that thread of neglect. You are not selfish. If your cup isn't full, if your cup isn't overflowing so that your saucer is overflowing, you are being negligent to you. I grew up my whole life with people who demanded and commanded, and anytime I tried to do any little thing, I'd read a freaking book. I wanted just to read a book. Oh, I was selfish, and I didn't care about anybody else but myself. How is it reading a book is abusive or negligent to anybody else? I ask you that. So when your higher power is calling to you and you want to connect, I know this card has a couple different meanings. One is sneak away, and one is lies and manipulation. And I don't feel like that's the case in this situation. I think it's just like I'm dropping off the baggage. I'm letting go. So I can carry what I can handle. So I can work with my higher power to bring in the emotional fulfillment and stability and the balance I deserve. And that just popped out. Eight of Pentacles, doing the work. Doing the work, creating the balance, the emotional stability you deserve. I see. Overall message is peace. Spirit, angels, guides, fire signs. Well, that one just slipped out. Raccoon, inventor. Decide on what you really want. You have the in ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and juggle them well. Fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, what else can I say? The cards have spoken to you. Decide on what it is you really want. Fork in the road. Come to the edge. Trust and pride. You have the ingenuity to play. Avoid being the trickster. Practice your own integrity. All 
Alright, my thoughts. All I can say to end this is I wish you all an amazing, happy, new year, health, blessing, well-being, well-being, clarity. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you this evening. And yeah, I look forward to hearing back from y'all. Whatever your comments are, your feedback, whatever you have to say, thank you. Happy New Year. See you on the next one. Bye.